You must have had some really cool celebrity encounters. What was like the one or two coolest? Wow, um, a bunch. Well, I saw um, Mark Wahlberg at the Super Bowl in Arizona, and I saw him at a venti. He was uh, a, a charity event he was throwing, and I was talking to his brother Jimmy about Wahlburgers, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, you should come by the restaurant, come do a show." I said, oh, "I'd love to," and then, and then I saw Mark, and he was like. Hey, good job on losing that weight, man. He's a big fan of your stuff. And I, I go, you know, I met you back in the day right after Boogie Nights at a club here in New York called Veruca and this. And he goes, oh, man, you're taking me back. And you saw Mark out, like, really wistful. He was like, Veruca was the spot, <laughs> man. So it was just so crazy because I admire him so much as a producer and as just a hustler and as everything. He's just as a talent. So that was pretty, pretty awesome. And I would say um, there have been times that, like, I'll go international and I'll meet uh, a, a soccer player, a footballer, that, you know, speaks very little English, but will go, man versus food. And you're <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, totally. That's, that's, that's me. I mean, you know, Stephen Fry and Nick Frost and these amazing British comics that they care enough to, to know who I am, to even remotely care who I am. I just saw Odell Beckham Jr. from the Giants on a flight, and he's I like, hey, them. man, nice I to meet them. you. And I was like, oh, my. I mean, God, I was starstruck. I love Hamilton. When I went to see it, and I was sat pretty close, and one of the cast members kind of pointed at me, and I sat there, like, quivering in my seat. <laughs> 